electric measurements. The part of electricity, the lesser of electricity, the physical properties of the electric current. We have studied three characteristics of the electric current. Who remember them? You remember, Mahmoud? You remember the properties of the electric current? Number, number one, electric current intensity. Number two, potential difference. Number three, the, the electric resistance. The electric resistance. And we, before we solve the problems, we, know, we must know that we have laws. We have laws for these three uh, issues. We have three laws control these three issues. Okay? We can mention the laws now before we solve any question. We have to remember three laws. The first law, the first law about the current intensity. Current intensity I equals quantity of charge Q over time T. This is the first law. We can make a triangle for this law. We want to solve, we make a triangle to ease our solution. Which will be in the top? Quantity of charge Q will be in the top. And here are me who can tell me the units of these quantities. Quantity of charge by what unit? Coulomb. Coulomb. Very good. And time by what unit? Second. Second. Very good. And current intensity by what unit? Yeah. Ampere. Ampere. Very good. So the first law here, we can solve any problem containing the three variables. Current intensity, quantity of charge, and time. And the second law, if you remember, is talking about the work and the quantity of charge and the potential difference. Again, the work, the quantity of charge, and potential, potential difference. If we said that Q equal W over V, we have to know Q, quantity of charge, equal W, the work done, over V, the potential difference. difference. So, can we make a triangle here to solve any problem about this issue? Work. Yes. What will be in the top? Work. Work W. In what unit? In joules. In joules. Very good. Here will be uh, Q, Q by column and V by volt. Very good. The third law, which is called Ohm's law. Ohm's law. Do you remember the third law? About three quantities. Talk about potential difference, current intensity, and resistance. So we have here I equal V over R. I, current intensity, equal potential difference V divided by R, which is the resistance. Can we make a triangle for this? Yes, we can make a triangle very easily. So what in the top? V, the potential difference in volts. And I, I in ampere, and, and, and R, resistance in A, O. Very good. Now we have three laws. We can solve any problem in, the, in, this, uh, in this sheet, inshallah. We start solving the first problem here. You have a calculator? Yes. Read the other hand. Calculate the amount of electricity that flow in a conductor if its resistance is 22, uh, 200, 2,000 ohm for 2 minutes when it's connected to potential source 220 volts. So, if you look at any problem, you will see some given numbers. These given numbers refers to some quantities. You have to write the given. You have to write the given and the unknown. And the unknown. Or wanted. Yeah, or wanted, yes. The given here, number one, 2,200 ohm. It is what? R2200 ohm. Yes. Also, the given two minutes. What is it? What does it refer to? Time. It is what? The time T. It will be two minutes. Can we use minutes or we have to use seconds? It will be how many seconds? 120 by multiplying it in what? 60. In 60. So it is 120 seconds. And the last given, 220 volt, it is what? Uh, v. 220 volt, it is a potential difference. The unknown is what? Amount of electricity. Uh, calculate the amount of electricity. Current it is Q. Current intensity. No, Q. 
the amount of electricity, it is quantity of charge. It is not current intensity, it is the amount of electricity, this is the quantity of charge. So we need Q. If we look at the three triangles, Q found in two laws. Q can be calculated by knowing I and T, and Q can be calculated by knowing W and V. Do we have I and T? We have, we have what? R, T and V. Uh, we don't have W at the beginning, and we don't have I. We need to find I or W. We can find we, it from the third law. No, from this law, from this first law, we can find Q if we find T and I. But before we find I, we have to know that we cannot find I by this yes, law. Yes, we, we use this. Can, uh, we can find the current the I, uh, the I, uh, the current intensity can be calculated from this law first. Yes. Then we calculate Q from this law. Yes. Very good. So we start by this law, applying this law, I equal V over, I equal V over R, it will be what over what? Uh, v, 220, 220 over R, 2200 ohms, it will be, I think, without a calculator, it's with 0.1 A ampere, okay? So we found I now, and we have T here, can we now calculate Q from the first law? Q equals what? From this law, Q equals what? Equal I times T. Uh, Q I equal I times T. T. Q equal I times T. T. It will be, yes, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 multiply 120. It will be, I think, 12. Yes. Calculated by the calculator? 12. 12A, what is the quantity? Colon. Very good. So, thank you very much. You can.